So Trump says what he says about McCain. Followed or following McCain's insult of Trump's voters or supporters, calling them crazies, people in his own state. This ticked Trump off. He doesn't want to think that people support him on immigration or anything else are a bunch of crazy wackos, and McCain characterized them as that. And nobody suggested McCain apologize to the American people. Nobody suggested McCain apologize for that characterization of American citizens, crazies. So the conventional wisdom erupts into full bloom. The media, the Washington establishment, conservative and liberal both, immediately demand that Trump apologize. And then they add that Trump can't survive this, that we were all just waiting for this to happen. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen because Trump steps in it all the time. So now all these people are saying, we knew it was going to happen. We knew it was too good to be true. We knew Trump didn't have what it really took to run a campaign. We knew he was going to say something totally embarrassing. He can embarrass himself and everybody that supports him. He's going to have to apologize and have to withdraw. Everybody said, except one thing hasn't happened. Trump hadn't apologized. Not only has Trump not apologized, he has doubled down. And he has added to his original criticism of McCain. He's calling McCain a bad guy. McCain's a lousy politician. McCain talks a lot but doesn't do anything, Trump says. The VA is a mess. Illegal immigration's a mess. Everything we hear McCain say he supports or cares about, it's all going to hell. He's a bad guy. He's not a good politician. I'm trying to save America. I'm not going to apologize. This is Trump. Well, now the architects of conventional wisdom don't know what to do. Because by this time, they have gotten their scalp. By this time, the guilty party has apologized, is begging for forgiveness. And Trump is not. Now, remember, there's a common assumption made every time one of these things happens. You know, I myself have stepped in it a couple times, folks, and each time. Oh, yes, I have. I've stepped in it a couple times. And each time, no, the, the point is that each time I did, the drive-bys thought they had me, right? I mean, I can, I can go through Michael J. Fox, Sandra Fluck, whatever it was, they, they thought that they had finally gotten rid of me. But they didn't. They didn't even come close. They never have come close. They're still telling lies about advertisers lost. They're still telling lies about every aspect of these incidents where they thought they had. Why were they wrong? Because they made the assumption that the whole country was outraged at me as they were. And that's the key here with this Trump thing. This is the fascinating thing to me. This is something we're going to learn. When the reaction of outrage over Trump's comments came, Washington establishment, Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives, the media, accompanying it is the assumption that the American people, a majority of the American people, also find what Trump said unpalatable, unforgivable, unacceptable. That's one of the things that makes these work, is the assumption that the media is simply reflecting public opinion. But we never really know. Now, in my case, we know that the media is not reflecting public opinion. And I've said it countless times, folks. You know, I I have survived all these controversial moments because of you. Because you hang in there. Because you know the drill. You understand this technique that the left and weak-kneed Republicans use to destroy people that they find objectionable or too effective, uh, their opposition. But you hung in there. You always have. That's why I owe you more than I will ever be able to repay you. You have, you have stayed tuned in. You have remained loud, admitted members of this audience. And defied the conventional wisdom. Well, we're going to find out now if Trump has made a similar connection with his voters. The polling data on this is going to be fascinating in a week or two, or or less maybe. 
Because remember, the, 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 the real key to this is this automatic assumption that everybody's outraged, that everybody wants Trump gone, that everybody finds this objectionable, everybody thinks it's over the top, everybody thinks Trump has gone too far. And that assumption is always erroneous, I think.